The humble beginnings of the mighty Indus start high up in the frozen wastelands of the Himalayas. As the water flows down the mountains, it gathers momentum. But as the Indus enters the plains, it spreads out and spawns life. Civilizations are born. One such civilization flourished on the banks of the Indus nearly eight centuries ago and left its mark in more ways than one. Almost 800 years ago, the city of Vuch was settled on the banks of the river Indus. It has a long history. Um, it is said to be one of the Alexandrias established by Alexander the Great. It uh, was part of the territory conquered by Muhammad bin Qasim in the early 8th century. Uh, then it uh, went through various phases uh, of development of which the most important one was in the early 13th century during the period of the Delhi Sultanate. It was during his period that uh, the Mongol invasions took place and it was during that time that these people from Central Asia and the Sufi peers came and settled and with them they brought a lot of craftsmen and people, able people who knew how to construct fantastic buildings. So, which became famous in those days, it became a large city, it had good fortifications, it had a very strategic location on the rivers, it was a trading city, uh, it was a depot for a lot of grain that was transported down the country. It was also a place of uh, feudal land holdings and a great centre of culture. The Sufi peers who came from Central Asia, um, by this time Sufism had already developed into a major form of uh, Islamic practice. Wherever the Sufi peers went, they took, and they took followings with them and they created followings locally. A lot of these followers were artists and craftsmen who made these buildings as tombs for the Sufi saints. मकसद आर्किटेक्ट का एक बहुत खूबसूरत डिजाइनिंग थी उस वक्त की जो ये लोग बनाते थे और ये सारे तुर्क कारीगर थे उन वहाँ से ये माइग्रेट करके आए थे कुछ लोग जिन्होंने ये लोग ये टोम्स और ये सारी चीजें बनाई थी These 120 foot tall buildings were made on the foundations of wood beams with burnt brick laid in mud mortar. Workers worked day and night to complete these buildings. There are several tombs of famous Sufis in Uch, notably the tombs of Sayyid Jalaluddin Bukhari and his family. 
The first is said to have been built for Baha'u'llah Lim by his pupil. The second was made for Baha'u'llah Lim's granddaughter, Bibi Javindi. And the third for Baha'u'llah Lim's architect. The city of Vuch was a flourishing riverport city and was at the height of its glory. But then, the river changed its course. The rivers of the Punjab have had a meandering history. The Indus moved uh, from uh, the edge of Uch to Mitun Kot first, um, and sometimes in, during that great flood of the early 18th century. And then recently, in about the last hundred years, it's moved again. So it is a continuous history. The city that was thriving due to the river and trade now became deserted. The people left Uch along with the river. The sun had set on the fabulous city of Uch. Since there was no one left to take care of the monuments, the elements started to destroy them. The rain actually penetrates the monument and washes away the mud, leaving them uh, very, very susceptible to collapse. The foundations have been moving uh, ever since that great flood in the 1810, when, they, when half of the monuments were washed away. The foundations have been moving, they've been settling uh, continuously. Gradually, the monuments started to crumble.